In this video, we're going to learn how to fry eggs. I'm gonna start by preheating my pan over medium low heat. Now with fried eggs, it's really important that we don't develop too much color. Uh, some chefs will say no color. I'm more in the very, very light color. What we don't want is a really tough brown skin on the outside of the egg. Uh, depending on the type of fried egg that we're uh, trying to achieve is gonna depend on the uh, heat level. So if I'm, using, if I'm going for an over easy, which is our white is gonna to be totally cooked and our yolk is going to be totally raw. Um, I'm gonna use about medium to medium low heat. If I was going for uh, over hard, I would use a very low heat because it needs, that egg needs more time to cook through uh, without browning too much on the outside. So I'm gonna start by just adding a little bit of oil into my saute pan. And I do want to make sure that I'm starting with a preheated pan. If I crack an uh, egg into a cold pan, even if it's a nonstick pan, uh, it's likely to stick to the pan. So it is important to start with a nice preheated pan. Give my egg a crack on the side of the pan. And go right into my pan. This is the point where I would season my egg, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, and I'm going to turn my heat down just a little bit because I do want that white to mostly cook before I flip my egg. Sometimes with older eggs there will be a little watery uh, piece that will kind of break off and bleed into the pan. If that happens, just take your nonstick spatula, excuse me, just take your rubber spatula, kind of push it back to form your egg. Now that my egg is kind of set, I'm gonna give it just a little bit of a rotation in my pan, just to make sure that it's not sticking to my pan. So you can see all I had to do was just kind of lift up on my pan, give it a nice swirl around. You can see that my egg white is starting to cook uh, I'm starting to see less and less of the raw looking white uh, around the edges. Uh, once this white is about three quarters of the way cooked, I'm gonna go ahead and flip my egg. All right, my white is mostly cooked. I'm gonna go ahead and flip my egg. Once again, once it gets set, I'm gonna give it just a little swirl in the pan, make sure it's not sticking. I'm a big fan of flipping the egg uh, in the pan um, instead of using a, a spatula. If you're not comfortable with this technique, um, practice makes perfect, so definitely uh, go ahead and practice a bit. Uh, I recommend practicing with either dried rice or dried beans. Do it outside, make a mess, no problem. Um, but um, if you're not comfortable with that technique, uh, you can certainly use a fish spatula or even a rubber spatula to flip your eggs. I'm going to give my egg a feel, and I'm looking to feel that the white is completely cooked uh, while the yolk remains uh, completely runny, which is what I want with an over easy egg. So I can see in my egg here where my yolk is, and I can feel that the yolk is very, very runny. And then just on the other side is the white, and I can feel that, the, that the, the white is completely firm. And when I cut into this egg, as I push out the center, you can see that there's none of that little white, I know it's a gross description, but I always call it like the snotty, uncooked white. There's none of that like snotty, uncooked white. Um, it's just the yolk coming out, but that yolk remains completely 
um, uh, completely runny. If I wanted um, a over medium, I would have turned the heat down just a little bit, flipped at the same point, and let it cook on the second side for a bit longer. Um, if I wanted over hard, I would have used even lower heat, and sometimes with over hard, I'll even crack the yolk to kind of disperse the yolk uh, throughout. But the same principle applies of trying to cook the whites completely through while achieving uh, the desired level of doneness on the yolk. So let's review. When frying eggs, start with a preheated pan, but make sure that your heat is low enough to not brown the eggs. Next, be sure to season your fried eggs with salt and pepper. Finally, make sure, whatever level of doneness we're cooking our eggs to, that the white is cooked completely through and the yolk is cooked to the correct level of doneness.